Presentation of Open Eyes Emil Kramer Open Eyes on Satan's Cunning in the Occult and Complete Victory Through the Cross The Origin, Nature and Consequences of the Sins of Superstition and Witchcraft 12th Revised and Expanded Edition, 2015 Work of 292 Pages Here is the verse which introduces this work. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim release to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed Luke chapter 4 verses 18 to 19. Here is the verse that inspired the title of this work. Open Eyes Acts 26 verse 18 To open their eyes Verse that we quote in context Jesus reveals himself to Saul of Tarsus ready to persecute other Christians. Paul falls from his horse, blinded by a light stronger than the sun. We therefore read Acts 26, verses 15 to 18. Acts 26 verse 15 And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. But rise, and stand upon thy feet for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people, and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins, and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Preface to the First Edition The present study on the hidden realm of idolatry was not, at first, intended for publication. It gradually became a necessity for the personal work of soul healing, and over the years has become increasingly necessary for this work. In our personal contact with people, The Lord has again and again put His finger on the deep, ignored causes of many of man's bonds and sufferings, and also of many stoppages in the spiritual life of Christians, by illuminating them in the light of God's Word. Despite all their efforts and much prayer, these people were only able to experience the power of the cross of Jesus, the new birth and the deepening of the spiritual life, after having recognized and confessed to God the hidden causes of their misfortune, and that, as great sins. It was therefore necessary first to enlighten them the light of the Word of God and with the help of numerous experiments on the various sins of superstition and magic. In order to prepare people for the particular talks, and to lead them more quickly to Jesus and the cross, it became increasingly essential to provide them with the necessary clarifications and a list of the most widespread sins of abomination, on multi-copied sheets. These multi-copied sheets were soon requested by many of those who had been set free, in order to help others, as well as by God's servants who had had similar experiences in this generally little-known field. Finally, in response to numerous requests, we are publishing this study so that more people can convert from idols to the living and true God. May the Lord, in His infinite grace, bless this booklet for the salvation of many sincere souls and deliver them from the power of darkness to transport them into the kingdom of His marvelous light and prepare them for the rapture that is at hand, to the praise of the glory of His grace. Emil Kramer born in 1900 and died in 1994. Preface to the 12th edition In our modern society, there is a growing interest in the occult sciences and their varied and dangerous consequences, spiritualism and other forms of occultism. Objects such as magnetic rings and bracelets are advertised, as are healing methods and means, all under the cloak of supposedly new scientific or medical knowledge. False religious cults are gaining ever more ground among a population that is completely ignorant of the Word of God, and also among those who are disillusioned by a spiritually anemic Christianity devoid of the heart-transforming, liberating power of the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Satan, the prince of this world, seeks as always, and even more so now that he has little time, to seduce, deceive and trap those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth in order to be saved 
Second Epistle to the Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10. More than ever, we see that this is a spiritual battle against the occult, satanic powers that seek to control and rule our world, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of this dark world, against the evil spirits in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Isn't it wonderful, not only to know, but to personally experience complete deliverance from all conscious and unconscious bonds, through our Lord Jesus Christ? Having conquered all on the cross and defeated Satan, and being seated at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places, He has been exalted and reigns above all dominion, all authority, all power, all dignity. The Father has put everything under His feet, under His authority, f. 1 verses 20-23. This is so that the Church of Jesus Christ, that is, all His redeemed, may fully experience this deliverance and full victory, and also be, in this world plunged in darkness and Satan's bonds, liberated witnesses who radiate the light of Jesus Christ. This brochure has been a blessing to many in the past. It is timely that this new, updated edition be printed and distributed. Some more modern adaptations, modifications or explanations have been incorporated into the text, without however changing its message. Part 2 in particular, the list of the most widespread forms of the sins of idolatry, superstition, divination and magic, has been modified and adapted. Some of these occult practices, customs, superstitions and so on are no longer, or only very rarely, known today. On the other hand, in the modern world of 21st century, many new forms are springing up everywhere. Our prayer is that God will continue to bless this booklet, so that many who are blinded by the gods of this world and whose understanding is obscured, may be enlightened and led into the freedom of God's children, and so in turn be witnesses to His grace. Olivet, December 2015 Jean-Paul Kramer To the Reader When reading this brochure, Please bear in mind the following considerations. 1. In its original form, this booklet was simply a series of notes on mimeographed sheets, distributed to servants of God to help them in the cure of the soul. See also the first preface. 2. The subject matter is not intended to replace the usual cure of the soul, but rather to complement it by highlighting in detail the sins that specifically constitute transgressions of the commandments relating to the person of God. 3. The enumerations of examples of superstitions and sins of abomination in Part 2 of the book have been compiled from practices found in different parts of Europe and elsewhere. Every servant of God should therefore remain aware that, since certain practices are more widespread in one region than another, the person he is dealing with may quite naturally be unaware of a number of details in the practices listed. In this case, there's no need for him to be aware of them. And conversely, the points mentioned in these enumerations may recall to his memory superstitions and sins of abomination which so far have not been included in part 2 of this study. 4. The teaching of this booklet should not lead us to neglect the commandments relating to man and his neighbor, in fact, it aims more specifically to highlight the importance of the commandments relating to the person of God. We offer a deep English translation from the work in French, which, without being perfect, has the merit of existing and thus brings to everyone the message of warning and liberation carried by this work. If there are any corrections to be made, do not hesitate to let us know in this email communicated in the description of this video. Deceleversadvis52 at gmail.com You can download this work for free by clicking on the link in the description or by going directly to our website mediatechcretien.fr, a site dedicated to the free digital reissue of -of out-of-print and non-reissued Christian works. You do not need to register on the site. You click on Books to Download and do a search in alphabetical order of authors at K for Kramer then choose the book, Open Eyes, then click on the blue button at the bottom of the page for a download in Word or in PDF. Take advantage of the 1,200 ebooks that we have already digitized in French or in English on the website Mediatechtrdn. FR in which we present on this YouTube channel El Écoute Sa Parole. In addition to the download link for this work, 
we include links to different playlists that we have developed on this channel. Each work presented in these playlists can be downloaded free of charge from our website Mediatechchedien. FR. Among these playlists, there is one called, Works Available in English and French. We repeat, our project is to ensure the free digital reissue of out-of-print and unreissued Christian works. Let us pray that the spiritual richness of these works may participate in the edification of the Church. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless us richly with the ever-renewed revelation of His person, may He turn His face towards us and make us contemplate the unsearchable riches of His heart so that we may be transformed into His image. Goodbye everyone and see you soon for a new video.